Hi, my name is Lauren Walters and I'm a second year medical student at Creighton University in Omaha, Nebraska. Today, I'd like to tell you about lysosomal acid lipase deficiency. Lysosomal acid lipase deficiency is a very rare disease affecting about one out of every 50,000 to one out of every 300,000 individuals. It's caused by a lack of the enzyme lysosomal acid lipase. This enzyme's job is to break down different fats in the body called cholesterol esters and triglycerides. When these fats can't be broken down, they accumulate throughout the body, especially in the liver, blood vessels, spleen, and intestines. There are actually two forms of lysosomal acid lipase deficiency. The most severe form is called Wolman disease and it affects infants. The less severe form is called cholesterol ester storage disease and it affects adults and children. Those with Wolman disease present with symptoms in the first few days to first few weeks of life. These symptoms include enlargement of the liver and spleen, chronic diarrhea, and a failure to thrive, meaning that they aren't meeting developmental milestones or growing like they should be. Those with cholesterol ester storage disease develop symptoms usually around five years of age. They'll also have an enlarged liver and spleen and chronic diarrhea, as well as weight loss and atherosclerosis. That means that cholesterol is depositing in the blood vessels and clogging them. As these patients get older and the disease progresses, they'll get more severe complications such as liver failure or cirrhosis and different complications of atherosclerosis such as heart attacks and strokes. If a patient is suspected of having either form of this disease, they'll have blood work to look at their cholesterol levels and genetic testing to look for the lipa gene which encodes for lysosomal acid lipase enzyme. These patients also have frequent imaging of the liver and biopsies of the liver to see how far along the disease has progressed. The current treatment for this disease is a medication called Canuma. Canuma is meant to replace the lysosomal acid lipase enzyme. It's given via an IV one time a week to infants and one time every other week to adults and children. Other important treatments include exercise, a low-fat diet, and cholesterol-lowering medications. Even with these treatments, the prognosis for lysosomal acid lipase deficiency is pretty grim. Those with Wolman disease often only live to six months of age, and those with cholesterol ester storage disease usually only live to about four years. Hopefully with future advances in medicine, technology, and research, we're able to provide better treatments and hopefully find a cure for these patients and give them longer life expectancies and a better quality of life. Thank you for listening.